Morgan, teaching artist, and today we will be exploring lines using Ojalata tin art. Ojalata is Spanish for tin, which is an inexpensive metal used to create a decorative and functional art in Mexico. They make things like candle holders, jewelry boxes, and mirrors. Sometimes it's left shiny and metal, and sometimes it's painted with really bright colors. Artists will cut and punch designs into the metal to create lots of different decorations. Today, we're gonna to be using different types of lines, cardboard, and aluminum foil to create our own tin art signs. So friends, we're going to start first with uh, discussing some different types of lines. First, we're going to talk about straight lines, just regular up and down straight lines. These are also vertical lines. There's diagonal lines that go at an angle. We've got zigzaggy lines, wavy curvy lines. There's even broken lines or little dot and dashed lines. Some lines can crisscross each other and overlap. Some of them don't, like all of these lines right here. Some lines can go horizontal, go left to right. And some lines can even swirl around themselves. Our creative challenge today is to use every one of these lines in our piece. The top here you'll see I have a quote that says, a line is a dot that goes for a walk. That's by artist Paul Klee. That just means that anywhere I can make a mark like this, I can also take it for a walk and make a line. Let's explore some different lines by making our own Ojalata tin art. The first thing you'll need to do is find some cardboard. Now, I got a cracker box from my recycling and cracker boxes, cereal boxes, uh, tissue boxes, things like that work really great. I want to have a nice flat piece of cardboard, maybe a rectangle, since that's what this shape already is. So I'm just going to cut off the pieces I don't need and you might need a grown up to help you with this. You want to make sure you have some really nice, strong, sharp scissors. Remember when we're cutting things that are thicker, you wanna really open up that, those scissors really wide. Put the cardboard all the way in the back of your scissors and close your scissors. This really helps with the pressure of cutting instead of trying to cut on the tip like that. Use the back of your scissors like that. Awesome, let's put this to the side. Now I need to make this into a piece of tin using aluminum foil. So what I'm going to do there Take my piece of foil, something that's bigger than the piece of cardboard itself. I'm going to cover one side, it doesn't really matter which side, cover one side of my cardboard with glue. You can use a glue stick, you can use a glue bottle. I like a glue stick because it dries really quickly and I feel like it's easier for me to control how much glue I get on there. That a nice cover of glue. Flip that over glue side down onto your foil and press that down. Now I want to fold all my excess edges over onto the cardboard itself. This will give me a nice smooth edge on my sign so that way it won't be uh, sharp. Sometimes aluminum foil can be sharp so you'll probably want a grown up to help you uh, get your aluminum foil cut off and ready. You can see I'm just taking it, I'm kind of wrapping it up like a present, like a piece of gum. Just folding all of these over. Pull it a little tight so that it's right on the edge of my cardboard. And I can glue this down too. Just put a little bit of glue underneath some of my flaps. I'm not going to take a whole lot of glue and it'll stay because you wrapped it up really nicely. And that will dry pretty quickly and we can go ahead and flip it over and go right into our art piece. Now for this one that I made, I was really inspired by space and I thought of different ways I could use line to represent maybe the sun. I put a swirl in there. I've got some zigzag lines to create something that's kind of like earth with some swirling water some stripes for land. Saturn has got some rings around it and they don't have to be exactly like planets that you've heard of or seen, but you can use your creativity on that. 
or you can do something like flowers, really anything you want. Um, I like to use circles to give me a place to start with my design, so I just went and looked for some different sized jar lids in my house that I can use to trace a circle. So you'll also want to use a pencil, a pencil uh, like this that's uh, not too sharp. If it's too sharp, it might rip into your aluminum foil. So a little bit dull is a good idea if you need to, you know, scribble down your point a little bit, you might want to do that. But I'm going to start by just tracing around my big circle. And I think I'm going to make some flowers this time. I'm going to do two and it can kind of go off the edge. Our creative challenge is to use every line from our line page and to fill up as much as we can on our Ovalata tin art sign. So I also have a ruler. If you don't have a ruler, don't worry about it. It doesn't have to be perfect, but I'm just going to start. I think I'm gonna start by drawing two lines that crisscross in the middle. And from there, I'm going to keep drawing lines that crisscross right in the middle. Maybe I'll make a pizza. Remember friends, you can make whatever you want. A lot of times in our Ovalata tin art, we see things from nature, things like flowers, bugs, the sun. You can make just any kind of design you want. It doesn't even really have to be a picture of something. If you just want to draw lines and draw designs, you can do that too. In each one of these sections, I think I want to do a different kind of line. So I'm going to do a wavy line. A curvy line. Might not be like any flowers you've seen before, but this is where my creativity comes in. Remember, don't press too hard with your pencil because you don't want to rip the foil. We're just kind of pushing a design into the foil. And then on other ones, I can do some more curvy but less curvy lines. Not quite straight lines. It's hard to draw straight lines without a ruler, so don't worry about it if they're not perfectly straight. Just do your best. And of course, we need some zigzag lines. The other lines have we not used yet, friends. I don't think we've used any diagonal lines. And I think on these, I'll just do some dots. You know, a dot can be a line too. It's just a very, 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 very small line. But all lines start as a dot. So just some fun creative ideas. From here, I think I'm going to do a zigzaggy line around to give it really little petals. So kind of a sunflower with a big center, little petals. that coming out because remember we want to try to fill up oops see I had a little rip right there so that's going to happen to all of us don't get discouraged if that happens it's just fine just keep going remember this is just our fun creative art piece maybe the first time you do it it's not the best thing you've ever done that's okay we are exploring so friends what line have we not used yet I don't think we've done any swirls and I love a swirly line so I'm going to fill this one up the line just keeps growing and growing and growing. I can't grow anymore. And then maybe a loopy loop line for some petals. Let's start on this side. So loop, loop, loop. All right, friends, I think that you have succeeded in getting as many types of lines on there as you could. From here, it's really up to you what else you would like to add. I think maybe I'll add some leaves coming out and I can even add some lines to that. You see, the more lines we put in our piece, the more interesting that it's going to look. And we are keeping these in the Oaxacan style 
Um, Ojalatitin art. Oaxaca is a state in Mexico. Um, and there, the style is usually left shiny metal. If you have any permanent markers, like color Sharpies, you can also color on your foil, but that has to be permanent marker. It's the only thing that will stay. And then, of course, maybe we need a little butterfly. It would also be a great addition to your garden. Your tin art. So, friends, once you have all of your lines drawn in, you take your time and do as much as you can. If you have access to a hole punch and some yarn, you can also turn this into a sign that you can hang in your room anywhere you like. Probably need a grown up to help you with this because it can be really hard to punch holes in cardboard. See? Having a hard time too. Have a couple of holes in the top. And take your string, cut some off. Tie a knot on either side. Definitely recommend a double knot so that it will stay. To the other side. And Ohalata art is usually used for, like we said, something useful, uh, some sort of decoration. So you can make this. Make this. Your decorative. Your decorative. Ohalata, Ohalata. Tin art. Great job.